Hi there. Hello there. Hi there. My name is Alice. Hi. I'm Alice. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Alice. Uh, that's hard. Guess where I'm at? Well, it probably won't come as a big surprise to you, but yes, I officially moved to the Netherlands and I've been here now for a little over a month and there's been definitely some things that needed some getting used to and I experienced a bunch of first-timers, so I figured I'd just share some of those with you. First things first though, wait. Alrighty, look at that, can you guess what it is? Yeah, it's not only a bunch of keys, it also includes, there we go, the key to my very first shared apartment and a bunch of other bike lock keys and whatnot. Anyway, so when I walked into my first room for the very first time, I gotta admit I had my first mental breakdown. <laughs> and after that I managed to get my first noise complaint on the second day. And I went to university for the first time, I attended my first intro slash boot camp. I also decided to hang from the ceiling for the first time. Anyway, I got sick in the first week. Right after, once I was semi-healthy, I attended my first festival in the Netherlands. I also learned my first Dutch words, which I'm so not gonna share here. And I heard how people pronounce, how Dutch people pronounce my name here for the very first time, which was not a pleasant experience. Yeah, and here I am now filming my very first video in the Netherlands. Um, first off, I'm not quite sure why I decided to film this video in English, mostly because there were a bunch of people out there who were kind of like, eh, what the heck are you doing here? And I figured I'd just put it out there one time, like once and for all? No, whatever. But of course I'm more fluently in German, so if you prefer that language, then that's what I'm gonna do. I noticed a bunch of questions floating around the online world kind of regarding my study or why I'm in the Netherlands. So I figured I'd just pick the most important ones or like the main ones and just try to explain it a bit. So first off, what am I studying? I am studying International Communication and Media at the Hochschule in Utrecht and please do not mind my pronunciation skills right there. Anyway, it's a University of Applied Sciences which is already one of the main reasons why this program seemed so interesting to me because it's not only about like textbook knowledge but also getting some practical experience in and that's kind of what I was looking for and so you kind of get a broad overview across all of the three domains of communication, marketing and media. And then you get a chance to specialize in whatever you are most passionate about. There's also the possibility or yeah, the requirement to do a minor and an internship abroad. And yeah, I really can't tell you that much about the study as I'm only one month in, but as soon as I get a better idea of what this is all about, I can totally share it with you if you guys are interested. But so far I'm, yeah, I'm enjoying myself and yeah, there have been a bunch of assignments but we're getting this done. Moving on to the second question which was why did you end up in the Netherlands? Why not study in Austria? Well, so the thing is, as you guys know, I was abroad for the last two years and turns out it's quite difficult to apply for certain programs in Austria while being abroad. So the ones that I like, I, the ones that I looked into were mostly the creative ones, whatever. So all of those required some kind of application process where you had to be there in person. And I, trust me, I tried everything. I thought about flying there. I tried what, like if there's some way to do it via Skype or online and yeah, and it just doesn't work. So I started looking into Germany because they tended to be quite easier when it comes to those application processes. Processes? That sounds weird. Then, at some point, I started looking into Holland, mainly because if you're already going that far away, you might as well go to a country where you could do your study in English. And one of my friends is studying in Amsterdam, my dear Hannah Bear, and my host mom is Dutch as well, so I think like all of those factors combined kind of caused this situation right now. I kind of like the fact that Utrecht is not like a 
basic city, or at least for me it was not the thing that would come to my mind right away when I would think about studying abroad. And I've never been to the Netherlands before, never even heard of Utrecht before I looked into that study to be honest, but it's so magical, is that the right word? It's so nice. Okay, nice is an understatement, but it is a beautiful city. Yes, Amsterdam is amazing as well, but I so love my little, it's not all that little actually, hometown. New hometown, I don't know what to call that. I, like so far the weather has been awesome and I just loved like walking along the canals and biking around even though I wanted to stop like every two meters because I want to take pictures of stuff and whatnot, but yeah, so far I really do not regret moving here. Another question I came across multiple times is, do you speak Dutch? Uh, no, or no, wait, I speak geen Nederlands, something like that? <laughs> I have no fucking idea, but no, I so do not speak Dutch. It is still kind of my intention though, but yeah, I've actually looked into some um, language classes, but they don't really offer anything from my university, so yeah, we shall see. If you're living here for four years, it kind of makes sense to learn it, but then again, everybody's like, oh, it's so easy. It's like similar to German, so you're gonna pick it up right away. To be honest, that's so not the case over here. Like, I know I know a bunch of Germans who are like, yeah, I can totally follow along and kind of get what they're saying. And yes, with like a few words, I can do that too. But for example, we went to like a behind the scenes broadcast talk show thing, or I was basically sitting in the audience of a Dutch talk show and they were talking about politics and all kinds of stuff and yeah, I really tried, like I tried really hard in the beginning to kind of like pick up some words and kind of get the context or whatever they're talking about but no, I seriously, I didn't <laughs> get a single thing about this whole conversation and at some point it just got so tired because I kind of shut down whatever, I'm going down a whole other road now, whoa but <laughs> no, I don't speak Dutch you can get along with English perfectly though, like everybody speaks English. Sometimes I have the issue where I'm talking a bit too fast and then people look at me like, sorry, <laughs> and I'm like, whoops. But yeah, we shall see how my Dutch skills are gonna grow in the future, but so far, no, I do not speak Dutch. So moving on to the last topic, I guess. I just kind of tried to pick those random questions and put it into like a one video on just like a like how's life been lately kind of <laughs> so yeah life has been good that's for sure so I really you know there was yeah there were some <laughs> the struggle was real from time to time to put it this way but I feel like I'm now I'm kind of settling in or I kind of settled in by now and there is like a bunch of work from university and there's also a bunch of like socializing that's happening and it all kind of takes up a lot of time but I feel like I'm getting the hang of it kind of. The thing is that so all of the ICM students are divided into classes so I think it's like 12 classes and so and that's I have no idea how many people we are like all together but in one class there are about like from 20 to 30 people so yeah I actually like the fact that you're, not really, you're really not a number and it does get noticed if you're not there but yeah so what I was trying to say is of course you kind of keep in touch with the people from your class but in order to kind of like actually socialize with people outside of your classroom it takes some effort because you do not really you, you don't really run into each other. I kind of figured that at university you would kind of see them on a daily basis, but all of our schedules are totally different. So in order to actually establish a friendship with other people, you kind of have to put some work in and like, yeah, plan out the weekend, kind of. And yeah, <laughs> a festival always helps as it is a great bonding experience. But yeah, I really enjoyed it and I'm just trying to force myself to have a kind of like a yes mentality to just do whatever because chilling in bed with Netflix which I don't even have would not be an option for me right now but I just want to like go out there and the weather has been like I said a 
amazing. So I try to take advantage of that. And yeah, I have a bank account. I registered at the city hall. So I feel like I'm doing all the things that I should do as a student right now. And it's, it's funny because yeah, of course, I lived abroad for the last two years, and it was not... I, I moved away from home, yes, but moving all on your own is... or living all on your own, that's the thing, is a whole another story. Because <laughs> things like grocery shopping are, yeah, a challenge from time to time, if you live in a budget. And so I'm really trying to figure this all out right now. And yeah. The flat tire that I got already kind of set me back, but other than that, it's been it's been good. And yeah, so if there are any questions that I didn't really touch upon today, and you feel like you want to know more about whatever it is, just feel free to ask me, and yeah, ask away, and I'm gonna try my best to answer those questions. And yeah, I think that's a wrap. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Und ja. Bis später. Lasst mich wissen, ob ich auf Deutsch weitermachen soll. Bye. Ich hoffe, wir gehen. Billig, hoffentlich. Ja, neu fahren. Wünsch's Glück.